The two last elements of the group 16 and the two last elements with metal on metalloid features that we will going to study in this course are tellurium and polonium. The former was firstly obtained, although it was the latter one for which its finding uh, led to win the Nobel Prize in 1911 to her discoverer. But then let's start our discussion with tellurium, which was first isolated at the end of the 18th century by the Austrian chemist F. J. Muller von Reichstein, only some years later of the discovery of oxygen by Presley. Tellurium was obtained by Reichstein while he was working as chief surveyor of mines in Transylvania, a province of the present Romania, where he was in charge of the analysis of ore samples. In 1783, he isolated a mineral that contained gold and another unknown metal. He was not able to identify the metal and gave it some strange names such as Auron Paradoxium or Metallium Problematicum because it's so known of the properties of the spet uh, antimony. Some years later, he sent a sample to Martin Heinrich Kaprot. Uh, who in 1798 report the result of his investigation and conclude he was a new element wh which was named by Klaproth as tellurium. The mineral where Reichstein had found tellurium was calaverite or gold tellurite, A-U-T-E-2. Tellurium is a rare element in hearth cross and it never occurs in concentration high enough to justify meaning only for this element. Therefore, tellurium is obtained as a byproduct during the isolation of copper. Tellurium is recovered from the anode slime deposited during the electrolytic refining of copper. Tellurium with other precious metal are recovered from that mouth and the method employed varies uh, depending on its content in the original copper ore. All methods described are based on converting the elements in the slime to a compound that could be easily separated. A typical procedure involves oxidation of slime by roasting with soda ash between 530 and 650 Celsius degrees. That led to the conversion of tellurium and selenium to the corresponding selenate and tellurate, but due to that tellurate is highly insoluble, it remains in the residue while the selenate is dissolved. The sodium tellurate formed during the roasting process is then converted uh, to telluric acid by leaching with dilute sulfuric acid. Then, Telluric acid is reduced by treatment with hydrochloric acid and sulfur, and sulfur dioxide as it's shown in the, on the screen. Alternat alternatively, telluric acid can be reduced employing sodium sulfide to form uh, tellurium dioxide, which is dissolved in aqueous sodium hydroxide, followed by electrolytic reduction. On the other hand, the discovery of polonium happened about 100 years later, in 1898, uh, during the investigation carried out by French scientist Marie Curie, with the ore pitch blend. This finding, together with her parallel discovery of radium, led her to win again the Nobel Prize. The new element was named polonium to honor her country. We know polonium is a radioactive uh, element and most of polonium isotopes disintegrate by emitting alpha particles, while difficult working with the element. Polonium is a very rare metal with an estimated content lower than one-tenth of a milligram for each ton of pitch blend. Therefore, the low abundance of the element at its higher radioactivity made no profitable nowadays obtaining the element from natural sources. Polonium saw 34 isotopes with mass number ranging from 192 to 218, all of them radio radioactive and the only or the only one of these isotopes that is available a sufficient uh, quantity is polonium-210, which is best made by neutron irradiation of bismuth-209 in a nuclear reactor. The separation of polonium from irradiated bismuth has been described by several methods such as uh, direct distillation, solvent extraction or ion exchange although by far the most usual methods are those based on its spontaneous deposition from a solution onto the surface of a less noble metal 
or its electrochemical deposition onto a more noble metal such as silver. The position of nature of this element made that its production is very limited uh, and can be estimated for about only 100 grams a year worldwide. Anyway, there is some common use of polonium that we described during this week that made interest in the research and study of the element.